this is Bob Ray for Ray's Tennis. Today's uh, subject of the video is tennis balls. I'm going to show you some balls other than tennis, but this is primarily about tennis balls. First, let's define a tennis ball. Um, it's round. It bounces. It has to be at least two and a half inches in diameter but not more than two and five-eighths inches in diameter. It has to weigh at least two ounces, but can't weigh more than two and sixteenth ounces. When it's dropped from a height of, of 100 inches, it should uh, rebound between 53 inches and 58 inches. Now, since I'm only five foot ten, and my reach is about seven feet, which is about eighty-four inches, um, I can't easily test a ball um, using those exact criteria. But since the rebound is approximately fifty-five percent of what the what the drop uh, height is. Um, I would expect that if I lift my arm up as high as I can go and I drop the ball, it should come back to the bottom of my rib, rib cage. Now, everybody's not proportioned exactly the same, but that's a guideline um, that you can go by. Um, I've brought out a bunch of balls today. Some are just your usual tennis balls. They come three in a can. Um, some have a special purpose, and I also brought out uh, tennis balls and other items that are related to developing juniors or, or beginners uh, to make the game easier. Um, I'm also going to show you some things that we carry in the store that are related to tennis balls. First, let's get rid of this one. This is a two ball can. Uh, the balls are white. They have no dye in them. It's called uh, fetchers because they use them with dogs. Uh, dogs like to chase balls, but most tennis balls have a dye in them, so it's not good for the, the dog to chew on it. So this is for dogs that um, you're concerned about their health. This is a tube of badminton birds. We have them in feathers and plastic. Um, in my other video about developing juniors, I suggested that a very young player um, play with um, feathers in a, in a badminton racket uh, because this travels slower, uh, gets them used to something that they can track with their eye. Um, when they're very young. We also have tennis balls in four ball cans. Um, this happens to be Wilson. Um, Slazender also provides them that way. Um, new rules came out by the USTA just recently that uh, changed the um, rules for beginner tournaments for the younger kids. This is for eight and under. If they have a beginner tournament, um, they'll use this ball because it's softer, it's a little larger, uh, it's easier to hit, uh, the rallies last a little longer, uh, get some, the, fun, the game is more fun at first, it's not so frustrating. Same concept with this ball. Uh, this is a little closer to a normal ball, um, and this is for 10 and under. We have them in bigger uh, bags also. We have tennis balls in funny colors. Uh, these are pink, one for Wilson, one for Penn. Um, some of the money that you uh, pay to, 
to buy these uh, goes towards breast cancer uh, research. This is a funny ball. It's not a, it's not a round ball. It's, it's, it's got a funny shape to it. And it's used for practicing reflexes. You throw it, it bounces, it bounces funny. And uh, you're supposed to react. Um, supposed to develop uh, good reflexes. This is a medicine ball. They come in different weights. And it develops upper body strength. You throw it. You can throw it against a wall. Um, you can throw it between partners. Uh, but basically, it's, it's a heavy ball that allows you to um, develop more strength in a dynamic sense rather than just lifting weights. This is a ball cup. Um, you stick it on your waist and stick a ball in it. Uh, takes the place of putting balls in your pocket or underneath your um, underpants. Called a love cup. This is a big ball. It's about basketball size. Uh, if you blow it up real tight, you almost bounce like a uh, basketball. Usually people use it uh, to go to major tournaments and have uh, people sign it famous players sign it and then they put it on their desk and it becomes a conversation piece. These are pressureless balls by pin. Um, they come in bags like this. Um, there's 18 in this bag. People use them uh, for ball throwing machines because they don't go dead over time. And um, it's something, it's a little he heavier, a little harder hit. So if you have arm problems, I don't advocate that you use these. But um, if you're concerned, if you only, say, use your ball throwing machine once every week or every month or whatever, and you want something that isn't going to go dead on you, um, this is the way to go. In my... Uh, Introducing the game to ten, uh, of tennis to young kids, I suggested that they learn uh, soccer before they even learn tennis. The footwork is is similar to tennis, and uh, it develops good footwork. And it's low to the ground. Kids are low to the ground. Uh, it's a good sport to get started with. We sell soccer balls. This is a football. Um, a lot of instructors will use a, a football to uh, show a student how to serve. Now, the reason they don't use just a regular tennis ball to throw is that you can be sloppy with your arm when you throw a tennis ball. And in fact, uh, a lot of pitchers will open their arm like this to get a certain amount of action on the ball. But the quarterback usually comes from the completely bent behind the head position because it's harder to throw a heavier ball any other way. So they use instructions, uh, instructors use footballs to develop that style of, of throw. We also have squash, uh, these are um, racquetball balls. Um, I advocate strongly that, that people not necessarily play racquetball, but that they play tennis against the wall in order to get the number of hits they need, um, particularly as a beginner. When you're playing other people that are beginners, the rallies don't last very long, and um, you don't develop a rhythm and, and hit enough balls to get better. But against the wall, you can hit unlimited. I mean, you can just keep hitting. But your, your wall will never miss. Now, I'm getting down to the, the nitty-gritty here. This is, these are real tennis balls. And I want to explain the difference between them. 
like I said at the beginning, there is a criteria, the, the weight and the size and the bounce. But there is a slight difference in the feel of a tennis ball. Um, for example, this is probably the best ball. It's a pro um, It doesn't go dead as quickly. Uh, it lasts, lasts, you can play three sets with it. Um, I, I think that mo most tennis balls after two sets are pretty well shot. Too fluffed up or they've lost a little of their pizzazz. Pro pens tend to last longer. Um, if you want a livelier ball, I think you want to go to either ATP or Wilson. Um, and even livelier still, these are all, we play around in San Diego on hard courts, so almost all our ball sales are hard, uh, extra duty tennis balls. But there are a few clay courts, and the clay courts don't wear out the balls, so people get, and they also make a ball heavier because they pick up all the dirt from the clay. And that um, makes the ball heavier and slower. So um, we have a lighter, uh, le the, the fuzz on the, on the ball, the, the nap on the ball is not as, as dense in a regular duty. And so we use that on clay. Or if you want to have a really lively ball that doesn't last very long on hard courts, you can use a regular duty. Uh, Wilson comes both ways. Uh, Penn makes them both ways. Um, Dunlop uh, is a heavier ball. I think the cover lasts longer. Uh, but if you're having arm problems, um, for example, you want to have as light a uh, ball as possible. There's, there's a million ways to cure tennis arm, and there's a million ways to get it. And one of the ways you get it is using too heavy balls. Um, it doesn't mean you shouldn't use heavy balls, but if it's a concern, um, uh, the racket, the strings, the ball, everything makes a difference for the opponent. Um, that pretty well covers tennis balls. Um, if you have any questions about other tennis items, like rackets and strings and stringing machines, and I think I'm going to do one on net, uh, putting up a net. Um, look for my other videos. Um, it's under Ray's Rayco Tennis at uh, YouTube. Thank you.